In this video, we are going to take a look at our profile view properties. So our profile view would be this green and gray grid. That is our profile view, whereas the lines inside are our profiles. So I'm going to select my profile view. I'm going to right click and go into profile view properties. Now we did take a look at some of these options before when we made the profile view itself. However, you may need to change your profile after you have it built. So the very first tab, our profile view properties, highway. So this profile view is called highway and the object style that it's using. So right now I have it set for a 10 times vertical 100 meter station interval. However, if we wanna see it one times vertical, I'm gonna select one times vertical and hit okay. It should shrink it down by a factor of 10 because this is set up for one times vertical. This is a true representation of the ground that's out there now. As you can see, you get very little information because you cannot see really any changes in grade or changes in slope until it comes to the bridge section. So changing styles is as simple as selecting the drop down and selecting the one you want as long as they're all set up. I believe you can do this through your properties tab as well. And my mouse has disappeared. There we go. So back to 10 times vertical. Oh, that's left to right. Uh, we'll do right to left. We'll look at the left to right when we look at the profile view styles. So back in the profile view properties, Again, a lot of the same options we saw in the previous window when we actually, when we made this, if I want to go under station, say I only wanted to display 2000, oh, user specified, 2000 to 4000. If I hit okay, it's only, only going to display that 2000 meter chunk. However, it did not delete anything to the left or anything to the right. That information is still there. We're just not showing it. I'm gonna set it back for automatic and I'll hit apply. Likewise, the same with the elevations. Actually, let's go back and we'll set this to two and four and take a look at our elevations here. Now, we have a lot of wasted space on the bottom of this profile and to make it fit on a printed sheet easier, we sh probably wouldn't display any of this wasted space at the bottom. So in that case, I would select user specified height. My minimum height, we're going to go 1070 and hit apply and see what it looks like. Nope. We'll do 1100. It's looking a little bit better. 1110. 1120. And then I'll probably just increase the upper limit a little bit to space it out. So we have different ways of, of adjusting our profile view up and down, left and right, through the stations and the elevation pickers. I'll just set everything back to automatic. And as we see, it's kept that information in here. So if I wanted to turn it back on, I easily could. Under the profiles, these are the two profiles that I have inside of my profile view. So I can clip my grid, I can split my grid. I don't believe I have that actually set up to do it, so it's not going to. I can turn off the draw of a specific item, so if I don't wanna see existing ground, or I wanna see existing ground, I don't wanna see design, I can easily turn those off. It tells you the type, so this will be from surface, this is by layout. Data, if they're sampling a data source, if we're sampling offsets, do we want to dynamic or static it? If there's a specific layer these pieces are on, it will be in here, which style that they're using. Again, fairly similar to that previous when we made the profile itself. What alignment they're attached to, so this, these are both of my alignment or highway alignment, my start and minimum maximum elevations. Data bands. So when we come into doing a video about the profile bands, we'll be playing around in this dialog box and we'll have to access it through profile view properties. And finally, hatching. So let's turn on a cut area hatch. And we'll say upper boundary is existing ground, lower boundary is design ground. 
We'll hit apply. So it shows us where any cut is. And if we add in a fill area, they are prob, uh, let's make, let's make fill, let's make this cut. Hit apply. And why they're displaying gray. I wouldn't be able to tell you. So back to profile view properties. Let's see if we can go into the styles and see. Okay, so my fill is actually set to color 252. So let's set that to 50, uh, no, it'll be on your profile. 53. And my cut on the profile, uh, we will do, we'll just do 220. And if we hit apply, they should change, yes. So any cut is pink, any fill is yellow. We could do multiple boundaries if we wanted to. However, this will give you a representation of where the cut and fill is. However, over here we know there's a bridge, so we don't have to worry about that. So that was a quick look at our profile view properties and how to add in hatch and how to modify hatch and look at the profiles, look at the elevations, look at the stations, change that for what we need because we will definitely have to come in here when we work on our bands and we set up our sheets to accurately show these in a plan profile view.